Hey everybody, welcome back to Living to Improve. I'm Mel, and today I'm going to be improving my yoga skills. Now, I have like never tried yoga before, and I am definitely out of shape, so this will be very interesting. So the way this is going to work is Sister Darling, who is invisible right now, is going to read me the directions for different yoga poses that I have not seen. I don't know which one she's chosen. I don't know what they look like. She's, she's just going to read the instructions, and I'm going to try and duplicate it. So, you ready, Sister Darling? I'm ready. Let's get started. Step one, lie on your belly with your hands alongside your torso, palms up. Exhale and bend your knees, bringing your heels as close as you can to your buttocks. Reach back with your hands and take hold of your ankles, but not the tops of your feet. Okay. Make sure your knees aren't wider than the width, the width of your hips, and keep your knees hip width for the duration of the pose. Got it. Okay. Step two. Inhale and strongly lift your heels away from your buttocks, <laughs> and at the same time, lift your thighs away from the floor. Okay. This will have the effect of pulling your upper torso and head off the floor. Ugh. Yep. Burrow the tailbone down toward the floor <laughs> and keep your back muscles soft. As soft? You... What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. As you continue lifting the heels and the thighs higher, press your shoulder blades fir firmly against your back to open your heart. <laughs> open your heart, <laughs> Mel. <laughs> yes, sister darling. <laughs> Draw the tops of the shoulders away from your ears. Gaze forward. Okay. Looking forward. <laughs> Step three. <laughs> Four. Yep. <laughs> okay. With the belly pressed against the floor, breathing will be difficult. Yep. <laughs> Breathe more into the back of your torso and be sure not to stop breathing. The back of my torso. <laughs> what does yep. that even, how do I do that? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Breathe with my back. Step four. Stay in this pose anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds. I thought you were going to say minutes. <laughs> like, no thanks. Release as you exhale and lie quietly for a few breaths. You can repeat the pose once or twice more. No, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Nap time. That's okay. it. Are you ready for the next one? No. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, step one. Exhale and bend from the hip joints to slowly lower your toes to the floor above and beyond your head. Oh, that way. <laughs> like, should I be standing <laughs> up? Should I? As much as I actually do this relatively often. Like this? Um, something like that. You'll see. <laughs> okay. As much as possible, keep your torso perpendicular to the floor and your legs fully extended. With your toes on the floor, lift your top thighs and tailbone toward the ceiling and draw your inner groin deep into the pelvis. Imagine that what? your torso is hanging from the height of your groin. <laughs> Continue to draw your chin away from your sternum and soften your throat. The, your, I'm oh wait, gonna break on. my neck here. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding it. I'm holding up. Okay, step three. You can continue to press your hands against the back torso, pushing the back up towards the ceiling as you press the backs of the upper arms down oh, onto okay. your support. Or you can release your hands away from your back and stretch the arms out behind you on the floor opposite the legs. Like, like, let's see. Yeah, sure, we'll go like okay. that. Clasp the hands and press the arms actively down on the support as oh, you wait, lift back up the here. thighs toward the ceiling. Wait. The uh, picture. Say that part again. So what you do with your arms, you have them like out. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. It's performed anywhere. Can you read a little faster? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anywhere from one to five minutes. To exit the pose, bring your hands onto your back again. Lift back into the pose with the exalt 
rotation, then roll down onto your back or simply roll out of the pose. Okay. Wow. Ugh. I cannot read apparently. Ugh. Or simply roll out of the pose on exhalation. <sighs> exhalation. How are you feeling? Dead. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Next one. Okay. Ugh. Lie on the floor with your shoulders supported and parallel to one of the longer edges. You don't need to do that because you're not sitting on a blanket. Okay. Okay. And your head on the floor. Like this. Yeah. Lay oh, your arms. Feels nice. <laughs> Lay your arms on the floor alongside your torso, then bend your knees and set your feet against the floor with the heels close to the sitting bones. The sitting bones, huh? <laughs> yep. Sounds scientific. Exhale, press your arms against the floor and push your feet away from the floor, oh, drawing your thighs into the front torso. Like that. Um, I think. Great. Right? Okay. Well, we'll move on to step two. <laughs> okay, step two. Continue to lift by curling the pelvis and then the back torso away from the floor so that your knees come towards your face. What? <laughs> Wait, I, I, I got lost somewhere. I think your butt needs to be on the floor. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll say that Go back again. to step one. Okay. Hold up. No. You want me to say the last part of step one? Yeah, from whatever position I'm in now. Okay. Then, bend your knees and set your feet against the floor with the heels close to the sitting bones. Exhale, press your arms against the floor and push your feet away from the floor, drawing your thighs into the front torso. So, it might be telling you to, to stick your feet in the air. <laughs> but no, it says feet on the floor, right? It says, press your feet away, or push your feet away oh, from the floor. so like that. Okay. I believe so. Okay, step two. Continue to lift by curling the pelvis and then the back torso away from the floor so that your knees come towards your face. Stretch your arms out parallel to the edge of the blanket and then... Which will be, which should be where? Would, where would the blanket be? In relation to me. Okay, so it's parallel. Shoulders should be parallel to the longer edge. Okay. And then what was this step? Okay. Yeah, so my legs are burning. <laughs> okay. I'll just read all the step two again. Okay. Step two. <laughs> okay. Continue to lift by curling the pelvis and then the back torso away from the floor so that your knees come towards your face. Stretch your arms out parallel to the edge of the blanket and turn them outwards so the fingers press against the floor and the thumbs point behind you. Does that make sense? So like that. Think. <laughs> Bend your elbows and draw them toward each other. Lay the backs of your upper arms on the blanket and spread your palms against the back of your torso. Raise your. <laughs> oh wait, where did that come from? My hands are out here. How am I supposed to get them on there? So should they be like this? And then I bring them in closer and. Yeah, um, I think that I think that makes more sense. Okay, I yeah. think it's supposed to be like this. Yeah. Raise your pelvis over the shoulders so that the torso is relatively perpendicular to the floor. Walk your hands up your back towards the floor. Yeah, <laughs> I just fell over. <laughs> without letting the elbows slide too much wider than shoulder width. Okay. I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Don't break your neck, please. Yeah, I'll try not to. <laughs> I'll sue you. Okay. Step three, inhale and lift your bent knees towards the ceiling, bringing your thighs in line with your torso and hanging the heels down by your buttocks. Okay, so like that. Yeah. Press your tailbone toward your pubis and turn the upper thighs inward slightly. Finally, inhale and straighten the knees, pressing the heels up towards the ceiling. When the backs of the legs are fully lengthened, lift through the balls of the big toes, so the inner thighs are slightly longer than the outer. <laughs> okay, you ready for step four? Yeah. Step four. Anytime now. <laughs> Soften the throat and tongue. Firm the shoulder blades against the back and move the sternum t toward the chin. Your forehead should be relatively parallel to the floor, your chin perpendicular. 
Press the backs of your upper arms and the tops of your shoulders actively into the blanket support and try to lift the upper spine away from the floor. Gaze softly at your chest. And then continue for three minutes each day for a week or two until you feel relatively comfortable. <laughs> Is that the end of the pose, though? Uh, yeah. Does it tell you how to get out of yes. it? or To calm down, exhale, bend your knees into your torso again, and roll your back torso slowly and carefully onto the floor, keeping the back of your head on the oh. floor. <laughs> Oops. No! <laughs> You're ruining everything! <laughs> okay. Come on, Mel. Okay, next Three pose, more. sister darling. Step one. Sit on the floor with your legs straight out in front of you. Shift over onto your right buttock. <laughs> As the British say, bend your knees and swing your legs to the left. Lay your feet on the floor outside your left hip, with the left ankle resting in the right arch. Okay. Ugh. Step Be 2. Honest. Inhale and lift through the top of the sternum to lengthen the front torso. Then exhale and twist your torso to the right, keeping the left buttock on or very close to the floor. Oh, I thought I was supposed to take it off the floor. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Lengthen your tailbone toward the floor to keep the lower back long. Soften the belly. My belly is soft. <laughs> Step 3. Tuck your left hand under your right knee and bring your right hand to the floor just beside your right buttock. <laughs> Pull your left shoulder back slightly, pressing your shoulder blades firmly against your back even as you continue to twist the chest to the right. <laughs> Step 4. You can turn your head in one of two directions. Continue the twist of the torso by turning it to the right, or counter the twist of the torso by turning it left and looking over the left shoulder at your feet. Okay. Step 5. With every inhalation, lift a little more through the sternum, using the push of the fingers on the floor to help. With every exhalation, twist a little more. Stay for 30 seconds to 1 minute, then release with an exhalation. Return to the starting position and repeat to the left for the same length of time. That's okay. We'll just do this one for now. And that's all the steps. <sighs> I'm gonna be like jelly after this. <laughs> Next one! So step one. Start in downward facing dog. Okay. Step two. Bring your weight into your right hand and roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. Okay. Next. On inhalation, lift your hips with buoyancy. <laughs> stay, stay strong in your right hand, making a clawing action with the fingers. <laughs> Keep the head of the right arm bone back. On exhalations... <laughs> <laughs> Break time! <laughs> Takes a lot of muscle, which I do not have. <laughs> on, an, on an exhalation, step your left foot back and place your toes on the floor with your knee partially bent. Step four, curl back through your upper back to create a sweeping action of the shoulder blades into the back of the rib, rib cage. Okay, just keep going. Step five. On an inhalation, lift your hips higher until you curl more into a back bend with your right foot solid on the ground. Okay. Keep breathing and curl your head back, extending your left arm from your heart and expressing your power and freedom. <laughs> power. Express that power, Mel. <laughs> I have no power. <laughs> Step seven. Hold for five to ten bre breaths, breaths. Okay, skip that part. Do I have to do anything else? Um, return to dog, down dog, and repeat on the other side. No. Okay. The end. May I tell you that you did it very wrong? Well, I can hardly move now. All my muscles are jelly. But I think that was a good experience. You can see... 
how I did. I'm gonna put the picture of what it should look like next to what I did so you can judge for yourselves how well I actually did. I still don't know what they were supposed to look like. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you'll join me in the next step in this journey of improvement. See you guys later. Bye! Bye!